the United States has moved some U.S. forces out of Ukraine and ordered the evacuation of most of its embassy staff on Saturday as fears mount that a Russian invasion of the country could take place in the next few days. The moves are signs of growing concerns among U.S. officials about the safety of Americans in Ukraine. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin ordered members of the Florida National Guard out of Ukraine, repositioning them elsewhere in Europe, according to Pentagon Press Secretary John Kirby. The 160 soldiers have been in Ukraine since November on a training mission. They are departing Ukraine and will reposition elsewhere in Europe. The secretary made this decision out of an abundance of caution with the safety and security of our personnel foremost in mind, and informed by the State Department's guidance on U.S. personnel in Ukraine, Kirby said in a statement. The Pentagon is still supporting Ukraine's military, despite this order. This repositioning does not signify a change in our determination to support Ukraine's armed forces, but will provide flexibility in assuring allies and deterring aggression. Kirby said. A travel advisory issued by the State Department on Saturday said it had ordered the departure of most U.S. direct hire employees from Embassy Kiev due to the continued threat of Russian military action. It also stated that consular services would be suspended but stressed a small diplomatic presence would be maintained in the city of Lviv in the west of the country about 50 miles from the Polish border, to handle emergencies. Numerous countries are also downgrading their diplomatic presence and urging their citizens to leave Ukraine. A senior State Department official said during a call with reporters Saturday morning that it's past time for U.S. citizens to leave Ukraine because there are limits to what the U.S. can do to assist them in a war zone, which is inherently volatile and extremely dangerous. Once a country or region becomes an active conflict zone we have very little ability to help our fellow citizens, the official said.